All right, this is my five-year review of my Trek Marlin Gary Fisher bike right here, mountain bike. I've ridden this bike through city. I've ridden this through jungle, through forest. This bike has taken a pounding. It, you know, as you can see right here, I'm zooming right there, you see the tire is currently flat. I have to replace the inner tube. I've had this bike for five years. I've ridden it a lot. It's a little bit rusty because I kept it outside for one winter. That's a no-no, but I didn't have space into my, in my place to keep it there. So this bike is very sturdy. You know, from my experience, never had any issues with this bike as far as uh, uh, durability. Uh, this is aluminum frame right here. It has shock absorption at the front, which is held up. It's really nice to use, uh, especially like when you're uh, going over gravel or something that's really uh, rocky. It absorbs a lot of the shock. I really appreciate that. The bike has held up. I've been going, doing races, a lot of cross country racing with this bike and it is very fast. So this is a 29er. Okay. So just in case you're wondering, this is a 29er. This has 29 inch wheels right here. All right. I like the 29ers because I do a lot of cross country racing and I enjoy it because I mean, it's just like well, when you're racing, like on a lot of on cross country straightaway, a lot of straightaways. I find it more comfortable to have a 29er. I feel like I can go faster with a 29er than I can uh, with uh, some smaller wheels. Like if I were doing like obstacles or something like that, or I had really rough terrain, I'd probably go with smaller wheel base, wheels. But I went with a 29er so that, um, because I enjoy it like doing cross country. So I did cross country races on this. Uh, very, very good, very smooth, like with running it, never broke down. So out of the five years that I've had this, the only issue that I've had was with the uh, tires. The inner tubes sometimes go flat. I ride this a lot in the city streets, and in the city streets you have nails, you have glass, you have shards of who knows what, and it gets inside of the tires, the, the, it goes through the tires, and it punctures the inner tube. Now, there's ways you can protect that. You can get slime inner tubes that heal uh, punctures when you go over stuff like glass and uh, nails and shards. Um, but I didn't get that. So I just, you know, just had the regular inner tube. And as you can see, this is what the consequence is. I have to constantly keep on replacing the inner tubes. Uh, another thing, uh, wearing it on the street or riding it on the street, you wear down the tread quite a bit. And that could have some impact on the inner tube too. All right. So because the tread has been worn down so much, it's easier for shards, glass, and nails to puncture the tire. All right. So that's, uh, that's the only thing. I mean, that's the only issue I have. You can have that with any other bike. Uh, but as far as performance with the bike, I need to get a tune up and, you know, uh, adjust the, uh, the gears a little bit because they're, they're kind of off after a lot of wear and tear, a lot of gear shifting. Uh, but that's something minor. That's normal maintenance. The brakes or the braking is really good on here. It has disc brakes down here. Disc brakes, they're very functional. They, they stop really well. I haven't had to replace them yet. So that's, you know, good news. Um, so I haven't had to replace the brakes at all. They're squeaky right now. I'm sure I can get some sort of something to, uh, you know, alleviate the squeaking noise, but not a big deal. Uh, when I was riding, however, the seat that comes with the Marlin is very not, uh, comfortable. So I've actually had to replace this with a different padded seat, you know, to enjoy my ride a little bit more and protect myself. Uh, with that. So that's one thing about the seat is not very comfortable. So take note of that. You might have to get a new seat. I also changed out the pedals. You see how the pedals it has one side, you can just wear your wriggle shoes and the other side has a clip in. I enjoy that. Uh, I wish I would have got the clip in just the main clip in because I don't really ride this bike with my regular shoes. So another adjustment that I made was I lowered the handlebars a little bit. You can lower adjust the handlebars with this right here. Uh, really cool. Um, as far as you know, the shock absorption, you can change it, adjust it. You can turn it on and off with this lock switch right here. 
which is very convenient. You can't do it while you're riding. You have to get off the bike and adjust that like that pretty well. Uh, it has uh, parts right here so you can add water bottles, whatnot, or maybe a, a tire pump water bottle right there. Pretty cool. One thing I wish that this bike had, I wish that the cables were hidden inside of the tube, but in this version, they didn't have that. It's not a big deal. It's just like me wanting champagne uh, wishes right there. So the gears are nice. It shifts gears quite nice. I wish I had electronic, but that's me having champagne wishes. And this is the bike. So after about five years, I really enjoy this bike. Uh, great bike. I would buy it again. It doesn't break, in my opinion. Like, it's a fairly sturdy bike. It's going to give you a bang for your buck. The only thing that you're really going to have to worry about is replacing the tires. I suggest that you get slime. I'll put a, a link in the description part of the page so you can see what slime is. You can get slime inner tubes or you can get slime that you put in. I suggest you just go ahead and buy the slime inner tubes and put them in once you get the bike. So if you have any questions about the Marlin, about performance or anything, let me know and uh, I'll respond back in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching.